I welcome you all with the greeting, uh, the Muslim greeting, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all. We're almost halfway through the month of Ramadan, a month of peace, spirituality and cohesion. It is indeed a privilege to be with you all here in person tonight. I know a lot of you have been remarking about what a wonderful thing it is to all be in the same room together. Each of you, individuals, the organisations you represent have been beacons in effort to help promote and develop social dialogue and cohesion, which Affinity invests so much in. I'd like to thank and acknowledge the academics, business people, members of the media, the Australian Federal Police, New South Wales Police, the United Nations Association of Australia, Amnesty International Australia, Pfizer Australia Biopharmaceuticals, youth and education leaders, community and religious leaders, school principals, school captains and students, and members, of course, of Affinity, its members and its board directors. I'd also like to welcome a few particular guests who are here tonight. The Honourable Dr. Jeff Lee, Minister for Corrections. Mr. Stephen Camper, MP, Shadow Minister for Multiculturalism and Member for Rockdale. The Honourable Peter John Poulos, Parliamentary Secretary for Wollongong and the Illawarra. Ms. Anne Stanley, MP, Federal Member for Warrawa. The Honourable Penelope Gail Sharp, MLC, Leader of the Opposition in the Legislative Council and Shadow Minister for the Environment. The Honourable Anthony Dadham, MLC, Deputy Opposition Whip in the Legislative Council. Mr Jihad Dib, MP, Member for Lakemba. Ms Linda Jane Voltz, MP, Member for Auburn. His Excellency Richard Bronowski, AO, former Australian Public Servant and Diplomat. Her Excellency Dr. Alison Bronowski, AM, President of Australians for War Powers Reform and Writer and former Australian Public Servant. Ahmed Hagazi, representing the Grand Mufti of Australia. Uncle Colin Wallangari Kantawara McCormick, who is an Aboriginal elder, educator and award-winning artist. He'll be delivering our acknowledgement to country a little bit later. We also have many distinguished consuls joining us from Bangladesh, Canada, El Salvador, Fiji, Ireland, Japan, Kazakhstan, New Zealand, and the Republic of Mauritius. From the judiciary, we have the Honourable Justice Julie Ward, President, Court of Appeal, Supreme Court of New South Wales, Judge Dale Kemp, Judge, Federal Circuit and Family Court of Australia, Emeritus Professor Rosalind Croucher, AM, President of the Australian Human Rights Commission, welcome. Leanne Smith, Chief Executive of the Australian Human Rights Commission, Lorraine Finlay, Human Rights Commissioner from the Australian Human Rights Commission. Pauline Wright, the President of the New South Wales Council for Civil Liberties. Anthony Cook, Assistant Commissioner of New South Wales Police. Police. From the Australian Federal Police, Detective Acting Superintendent Colin Hunt, Detective Inspector. Jason Constable, Team Leader of AFP Community Liaison. We have Councillors Dr Stepan Kekasherian, AO, Board Member from the National Australia Day Council Board. Shauna Jarrett, Councillor from the City of Sydney. H.Y. William Chan, Councillor from the City of Sydney. Steve Killalay, AM, Founder and Executive Chairman of the Institute for Economics and Peace. Adrian Edwards, UNHCR Regional Representative, Australia, New Zealand, PNG and the Pacific. Dr. Patricia Jenkins, President of the United Nations Association of Australia, New South Wales, and Vice President of UNAA National. Major General Retired Tom Ford AO, Vice President of the United Nations Association of Australia, New South Wales, and Dr. Graham Tom, Refugee Coordinator from Amnesty International Australia. Welcome to all of you. Now, Ramadan is a month dedicated to self-discipline, spiritual renewal and togetherness. It's a time when Muslims recommit themselves to their faith, following days of discipline with nights of reflecting on gratitude for the gifts that God bestows. Ramadan also presents an opportunity for Muslims to bring their most positive values to the fore. It's a time of spiritual renewal and a reminder of a duty to our fellow human beings to serve one another and uplift those who are less fortunate. The Quran teaches that we should tread gently upon this earth when confronted by ignorance, reply in peace. During the month of Ramadan, Muslims fast from dawn to sunset by foregoing things that we generally take for granted, by taking care to be kind, respectful and just. Tonight's iftar brings together people from all over New South Wales 
Everyone is from a diverse range of backgrounds. And yet, at the end of the night, we all leave dinner having learned, hopefully, something from someone that we might not have met otherwise or learned otherwise.